the rate of change in the momentum thickness in the boundary layer is equal to the combination of two effects. One effect is CF divided by two. So last time I uh, had multiplied by two instead of divide, but like the math works out, it should be divide, right? Because uh, CF is uh, where uh, theta and CF, CF is defined as the skin friction, uh, skin friction tau at the wall divided by half of rho ue square. So this half, in order to account for this half, it, we should have a divide by two here, right? Okay, so so the skin friction is one one effect, and the other effect is a rate of change in the outside velocity. So that is a negative sign times a due dx, and uh, what's inside it is two theta divided by ue plus delta star divided by also ue. So this term would be decreasing the thickness if ue increases as you go downstream right so this is kind of a, uh, a effect if i have favorable pressure gradient this term is trying to thin the boundary layer if i have adverse pressure gradient this term is trying to thicken the boundary layer and skin friction always tries to thicken the boundary layer all right so starting from this, we are trying to, okay, so, so theta is defined as the integration from zero to infinity, u times ue minus u dy normalized by one over ue squared, right? So this is the uh, definition of the momentum thickness. So from this equation, we are trying to close the unclosed terms so that as soon as we are given uh, outside velocity profile ue as a function of x we can integrate this equation and solve for theta as a function of x how do we do that first as with any other modeling problems the first step is to identify what are the closure terms what are the terms we need to model as a function of the known variables so theta here is considered as a known variable because if we, the way I imagine it is, I solve this using OD45 in MATLAB, for example. So what I need to code in order for this equation to be solvable is I want to code the entire right-hand side as a function of x and theta, right? So if I have a function that gives the entire right-hand side as a function of theta and x, then I can solve this ODE with any initial condition. So I want to look into the right-hand side and figure out which are the terms I know, which are the terms I don't know as a function of x and theta. Cf is the first term that I don't know. Let me color this as red, right? So Cf is something I am going to need to model. Theta is something I already know, so I'm fine. Ue is a function of x. So we are supposing Ue as a function of x is given here. So if I'm given an x, I know what Ue is. So this term is completely known. The second unknown term is delta star, right? Delta star also needs to be modeled as a function of x and uh, uh, theta somehow. So ue again is known, and due dx is known. So the task here is to model the unknown terms cf and delta star. So let us start with cf. So CF is defined as the skin friction coefficient. And we already have a class of boundary layer profiles, the Faulkner scan boundary layer profile. So this is a set of similarity solution. And let's imagine from some parameter, let's say theta and x, and also the profile UE, we are able to determine from all the family of functional scan solutions one particular solution that is appropriate at this particular point of x. Does that give me a CF? It does. So, so basically, I have chosen a particular function, right? So I have a, uh, 
I have df, ds, uh, df data, which I define as u, as a function of, uh, so it should be the other way. So here should be eta, here should be u, identified as uh, df, the eta. So let's say I have a boundary layer profile like that. How do I compute CF? How do I close CF from that profile? With respect to the right. So let's start from this. So tau, the skin friction coefficient at the wall, is proportional to what quantity in this profile? Yeah. Du theta, right? So we know that we know tau uh, CF has to be related to du theta at eta equal to zero. So that is the mechanism that gives me skin friction at the wall. Now the question is, both u and eta are non-dimensionalized in the Faulkner scan equation, right? So from, from the code we ran last week, we can compute du d eta at eta equal to zero. But how can I go from that derivative to the tau. What are the non-dimensionalization involved? So the real tau is what? The real tau is equal to mu, mu, mu times, mu. Uh, let's say, partial u, partial y, right? How is u related to big U? Uh, divided by mu. Right, so if I if I multiply this by ue, I get this is partial big U. And what do I do to transfer dy into d eta? Multiply by this delta, which we, uh, which we set so that the third derivative term in the Faulkner scan equation is equal to one, right? So delta times d eta, so let me write d here. Okay, at eta equal to zero, right? Okay, so basically we have, uh, let me see, basically we have this being something we need to determine in order to get to the, uh, to the tau. And CF is already non-dimensionalized by half of rho ue square. So let me plug this into the definition of CF. So what I get is du d eta, which I can compute from the Faulkner scan equation, times rho ue divided by delta. And then the, the mu, which is dynamic viscosity, divided by rho to become what? Nu, right? So that is dealt with. The ue cancels with the ue square down here. So I only have half of ue down here, right? Okay, what else? Uh, the, the ue is gone and I still have a delta here, right? Okay, so there is something interesting here. So we know we can figure out what nu is, right? We also, I mean, that's given uh, from the physics. That's a parameter we know. If it's air, it's about 10 to the minus 5. And we are given also ue. That's a known function of x. But how about this delta? This delta, it's something I don't know, right? So. That's what makes it not possible, really, to determine a specific CF from any given Faulkner scan equation. In addition to that, I know I have to know what is that local delta at this particular point. So let's imagine a boundary layer grows from very thin to very thick. And in the beginning, at a location, the boundary layer is very thin. At a later location, the boundary layer is very thick. At these two locations, the boundary layer has the same Faulkner scan profile. 
which means they are similar, right? So one thing, one thing, but the profile is similar. Do they have the same CF or not? No, they don't, right? So they are different by two things. One is the UE for sure, but the other is delta. So we cannot really just uh, uh, model CF as a function of these known parameters if we, if we give a Faulkner scan equation. We have to model some kind of uh, uh, scaled version of CF that is unique to a particular Faulkner scan profile, right? So for each, sim if I know the profile, then no matter how I scale the, the length scale, how I scale the velocity scale, I want the same quantity. So what we are going to be modeling, so let's forget about delta star for now. What we'll be modeling is this quantity is I want CF. I want this to be divided by nu, okay? I want nu to be divided. I also want to multiply this by half of ue. So basically, I need to change all this thing to here. But now instead of multiplying by delta, which is something not really uh, convenient to use in this equation, I want to multiply by theta, which is something we think as an input in modeling the right-hand side of this equation. So I define this as my as another function t. The nice thing about this t is that given a Faulkner scan boundary layer profile, I know exactly what t is, right? I can compute t. So I can compute t basically just by uh, plugging this CF formula into here. Half of UE cancels, new cancels, and uh, the only thing left is delta, uh, theta divided by delta, which is equal to one in our numerical solution of the Faulkner scan equation, right? I mean, delta is equal to one. Uh, times du d eta in the numerical.